Now I will say that in COVID, the blessings like what I was talking about earlier, the blessing for us has been these girls are hustlers. They are out here doing the jobs, the people that are on unemployment or don't want to in COVID, these girls are doing them. I've got girls working at Denny's, grocery stores, and the girls are getting promoted because there aren't people working. So they're having to get promoted faster while other new people are coming in under them. So I've got girls now that are already store managers, night managers at restaurants, you know, things like that. So the blessing for them has been, there has been a lot more employment available for them and more opportunity within that employment. Sadly though, it's because of the state of the economy and where we are with COVID. But, and I've told them, you guys, pardon the way this sounds, but you guys ride that wave while you can right now. And let's hope that we're proving that these guys make great employees because they know they've got to work extra hard. They know they've got to prove themselves to you employers. So hire them because they are amazing employees because they know they got to have a little extra pep in their step Mm -hmm. and show you their game, you know, really get in there. But because of that, boy, they, they want that job. They're going to hold on to that job. Is that hard? Is it hard to find them those jobs? Is it hard to get employers to hire them and to trust them? You know, there's amazing organizations. There's Cornbread Hustle. There's people here in, in the Dallas area. I'm finding it much harder. I've got girls in Amarillo. These are places I'm calling out kind of in Texas, but, you know, that's my main focus in the rural areas. But what's really hard is, okay, now we're making these strides. We're kind of punching through that ceiling. Why are we stuck, though, in, and I'm not negating this, but again, socioeconomics, these girls, let's go to sales now. I'm getting these girls into call centers to start there. Okay, prove that you can get on that phone and you can make that sale. You can call into that real estate. I've got a, a call center here that does some distressed properties and now they prove themselves that they're cold calling and getting in there. Now they're moving over to calling on realtors, right? Okay, they're doing great. They're keep progressing them, but let's break through that ceiling too. They can have careers, not just jobs. <laughs>